Hello, my name is Rafael, and I graduated from Barrett in 2014. My major was genetics. I think the best thing about Barrett now, from the other side, is that once you graduate and you become an alumni, you're still part of the whole organization. You can still come back and you can still use the resources, such as myself. I'm the prime example. I talked to Peggy Nelson, and she's actually the one that recommended that I tell you my story here in this interview. So the resources are there for you to utilize, and what that says about Barrett, that they still keep in touch with their students after they graduate, has a very strong underlying message, which is they don't just care about you graduating. That's not their primary purpose. Their primary purpose is for you to have a successful life and career well beyond after you graduate. And that's what I love about Barrett. I wanted to tell you a bit about myself. My name is Rafael, as I mentioned before, and one of the primary reasons as to why I was selected for this interview was because Peggy Nelson said I had an interesting, interesting story to share with, with you guys. One other thing is that I came up, I made my own business at the age of 21. I'm 23 now. I was a sophomore, uh, sophomore I believe or junior in college, and I came up with my own business, which I made through YouTube, basically. I made a product that can help you restore your shoes. The skills that I learned at Barrett and with the faculty, Dr. Jurgen Gadao, are skills that I will incorporate, that I incorporated, and I will carry with me the rest of my life. It's never a waste of time. It is never a waste of time, even if you decide to choose a career that maybe you want to pursue for the rest of your life. Not all of us take a direct route to success. Sometimes, most of us actually, go like this in a zigzag pattern. We may choose a job, then we don't like it, we choose another job, and then we work our way up. Different jobs, different things. We try different things throughout life. And I want my path to be as direct as possible, so I want to choose something that I love early on. The skills that I learned with Jurgen Gadao and using my thesis and I bear it as genetics are skills that I, use for, I will use for the rest of my life. And some of these skills include, in the scientific world, when you propose a hypothesis, you'll, you'll be in a room and other people will try to make, put holes in it. And what I learned from this is to not take it personal and take a mature approach and detach yourself from the idea you have and allow others to make comments about the idea you proposed and grow from it. That's what it truly uh, comes out to. And I incorporate this and I will take it with me wherever I go. Not simply just science, but in life in general. And that really helped me grow as a person.